Hi, everybody. Welcome to the rain. It's, I just love working out here when it's raining. Um, I think that uh, on this video, I want to show you a mistake that I made. I think that people can not only learn from their own mistakes, but from mistakes that other people make too. This is a design issue. And I made this little pot and I love the, the classic line of this pot. And I liked how I, how this, the top of it came out, the rim. And I made this lid for it, which is a perfect fit. However, it doesn't look right, does it? It just doesn't look like it goes with this pot. It, it just looks like it should go to something else. So, um, although it is a really nice lid, <laughs> And I hate not to use it on this, and I may not be able to find anything that I can use it on for a long time on here, is a, a shorter, more classic looking lid. And uh, something without a top knot, I just want to cover this, but I want to be able to pick it up off of here with one hand. So. I'm going to set that lid over there. This is this little lid has one of those hollow knobs on it, and I was so proud of myself. I mean, it, it's a really great lid, but it just isn't going to be right for this. So, it's going to basically be an upside-down bowl, uh, a little, just a little cylinder that's only about half an inch tall. I want it to be minimal. I don't want to draw a whole lot of attention to it although i may put some kind of little thing on top and stick some bamboo or some twigs or something through it in order to make it look a little more asian um though some of those little pots with the twigs sticking out of them look really cute but this is a kind of a classic shape and so I don't want to draw from draw away from that. Okay, so I have some clay on on a bat here. There it is. So let's. You just cannot. I mean, it just doesn't matter how many lid videos I do. You you just or anybody does. You just can't ever get all of them so this this is going to be in the lid category <laughs> because every time you throw a pot and you have a situation like this you you need a special lid you need a particular lid uh, style or something to go with it so so i hope you can see i'm working by natural light i have one light uh, reflecting off of the ceiling but I don't want to create too much heat in here with this humidity because nothing will ever get dry if I do that so I have about a quarter of a pound of clay here Like I said, this is going to be a very minimal. Let me make sure I've got that centered. Doesn't take a whole lot to center a quarter of a pound. But I don't have, I've got exactly, I think, the amount of clay that I need here. And so. I'm not going to be able to cut a whole lot off of it because I don't want to waste any. Because then my, my lid won't fit. I won't have enough clay left. So I've measured. I have these little coat hanger tong thingies uh, for a measuring tool. And on this, when I measure the outside of something, I use the ones that have the little uh, end of it bent 
towards the center. The other pair, the other pair that I measure inside stuff with just comes down to a straight end. These measure the outside of something. So I have already measured the outside of that pot. Let me, so I know how the outside of it can come right out to there. Okay, so let's So that outside measurement is going to be the inside of this pot. Let's see, I guess I better check my thickness and see how much more clay I can pull out. Well, better start Better stop going down and start going out now. Okay. So I'm going to pull. Okay, I can go back out a little bit more. Since I measured the outside of the rim of that pot, that means the inside of this little lid is going to have to correspond to the outside. Now, if I had to do this again, and I may have to do it again, I would probably have, well, I don't know, let's don't say, I was gonna say I may have put a little more clay into it, uh, like a third of, like 33.33 instead of .25 because I'm, I feel like I'm a little short of clay, but let's don't make that call yet because I may, I may have called it right. I may have just exactly the right amount. So, um, let's slow her down to, whoop, a little bit. So I'll trim this after it comes off the wheel when it's leather hard and, or off the bat, I mean, when it's leather hard. All right, measure one more time. Boy, always the last thing I do. So this is almost, well, it's leather. It's definitely leather hard, but it's, it's there. So it's pretty stuck. Pretty, this isn't gonna be too dramatic. Uh, just gonna trim that. I'm gonna leave a little bit of the No, I might not. I just don't know that doesn't want to cooperate. Let's there we go. Now it's kind of a soft ridge. It's not it's not real pronounced. set it on there. I, I think I'm just going to make a little spiral thing. There's one side. Now we can do the other side. Okay. And it's going to be somewhat of a spiral and I'm not trying to get it real tight. And I, 
can trim the ends when it's when it's a little harder. Let's see. I may only need one of those. I think that'll be plenty big for for that uh, size of a pot and for this size of a lid. I'll roll it over that way just a bit. Okay, so let's put our little scratchy marks in there. Okay, well, this is not as dry as this is because this is so much thinner. This, um, this hasn't quite dried and I have had this under plastic for a couple of days. So I think that when it shrinks, the lid is gonna go further down on it. So, so I'm gonna find some twigs or some kind of uh, dried material and it's gonna it's gonna go right through that the top of that let's find a shorter one here's a popsicle stick that'll fit through there right now probably but i wouldn't put a popsicle stick in there permanently i think that uh, some kind of dried material is is going to be better but that this will kind of give you an idea of what the what the design intention is there so this will look sort of cute with something sticking out on both sides and i sort of like that idea so there is the little lid. You don't necessarily pick it up by the decoration on top, but it just says, okay, I'm here and I'm, I'm the finishing touch. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.